We are back. This is a first on today, our first ever today's summer block party. Of course, block parties are such a beloved American tradition, and it's no surprise why, because they bring communities together. When summer hits its peak, neighbors from coast to coast pour out onto the pavement. America loves a block party. It's an epic get-together set in the street with everything from grilling and games to music and dancing. The beloved tradition dates back more than a century. A New York Times article from 1923 calls the block party a social phenomenon. And over the years, the neighborhood gathering evolved into a full-on celebration, often even including live entertainment, vendors, even rides. When residents close the streets, the traffic ends, and the party begins. All right, our party's starting right here today. We're going to start with today contributor Alejandra Ramos. She's here. She's got tips and tricks for how to set up. So let's yes. pretend you're ready. You want to have a block party. Oh. What are the first few things? All right, so the first few things, not super fun, but you got to do your homework. Okay. So this depends on where you live. Make sure you have any permits you need, any insurance. Get those T's crossed. Nobody wants to shut the party down in the middle of the fun. Uh, you also want to make sure you work as a community. Divide yeah. jobs up. Everyone's got special talents. Let them do it. Okay. Uh, use sign-up sheets to make sure you don't miss out on anything, and hopefully you won't need it, but set up a first aid station. Okay, after you checked yes. all those boxes, let's get started, because you're going to need lots of drinks, lots yes. of ice, and sometimes you got to get creative, because you don't have exactly. that many Exactly, yeah, so we've do? got a couple ideas for your hydration stations. I love the idea of raiding your garage. This is See a See what barrel. you have, a wheelbarrow. Right. You can use a kiddie pool, a canoe, fill it up with ice, bottles and cans. It's such a great, easy grab-and-go, but it's also fun and you don't have to buy anything new. Someone in your town has, has a wheelbarrow. wheelbarrow. Yes. But again, you said a baby pool, a canoe, anything, anything in the garage. You fill have. It up with ice. I love this little rainbow hydration station. This is just water, but we added some watermelon, some lemon, some cucumbers, adding a little bit of color and also some fun. And that way, again, I love these dispensers. People can serve themselves, stay Perfect. hydrated, but it also adds color and, and also, fun. by the way, decorate the joint. Yes. Easy. You want people to feel welcome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See what I did there? I got so, all our interns on so TV so again. So. All right. <laughs> Popcorn is something popcorn. that's always good to have. I love the idea of a DIY popcorn station. You have your popcorn machine, your little container, yep. and then all sorts of fun toppings. You can add pretzels, you can add cheese powder, coconut, sweet, savory, whatever you like. Fun. So fun. And this works at any temperature, so you don't have to worry about things melting. Let's get to this kind of uh, great snack department, but it's a great way to stack everything. Yeah, so pull out some of those shelves in the garage or wherever you have them and add some grab-and-go snacks. These can just be store-bought things, cookies, boxes of raisins chips. You don't have to man the station. Everybody can grab them. It's such a fun way, but it also adds color and helps people help themselves to fun snacks. Simple, easy to restock, yes. a perfect place for exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. And uh, what's going on uh, here? All right. So these are my party pails. We want to keep things clean in our community. So you can distinguish just regular garbage cans, okay. buy some little grass skirts. You've got your regular garbage, your recycling, place them around. They're not an eyesore. People will know where they are and they look fun. You need a ton of trash cans. Totally. I like a community swap table. So yes. what is this? So this is such a great opportunity. You already have all your neighbors out. Let them go with like, anything that they want to get rid of. So whether it's old toys, old equipment, kitchen supplies, you can put them there. It's a, basically a free store. The community can swap, but make sure you have someone at the end ready to bring any leftovers to a, like, a Goodwill or a donation center. By the way, brilliant, easy. Yes. Alejandra, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.